Pasta. Yeah. Okay, so we gave, he got had about a minute, 30. Now, I will describe wait, wait, wait. what Eugene is. You describe first. It's my, my turn, man. Okay, go on. Yeah, it's my turn. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay, okay go on. Let me cook. Let me cook. Hold on. Let me cook. So. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let me speak. Hold it down. So I asked the question, what is the angel? And the first thing that our friend does is ask me a question. Can you, God Logic? Describe to me what the Injil is in the Old Testament and the New Testament since you claim and believe that my Quran affirms you. Dude, I asked, what is the Injil? Time for him. Time okay. for him. Time for him. Time for him. Can you time for him? Two minutes, yeah? Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll end it with this, okay? Because this is what I will give him. I will give him this. I'll tell him what the Quran says about the NGO, and then I'm going to restate my question. So the Quran in Surah 3 says that the Quran came confirming what came before it, the Torah and the NGO, a guidance beforehand for mankind. Chapter 5, verse 47. Let the people of the Judge by what Allah has revealed, therein. So let the people of the gospel judge by the gospel, right? 568, O oh, people of the book, you have nothing to stand on unless you observe the Torah and the what? Angel. And all that has been revealed. So not just that, but all the prophets, the Psalms, all the books. Okay? So this is what the cross says. What is the angel? A revelation given to Jesus for mankind. Now my question is, what is the angel? What is that? What is it? Are you done? Yeah. Do, do not shout. I didn't talk. So do not shout. You debunked it in one minute, okay. guys. You debunked it in so one minute. So start for me two minutes. Right, yeah. Start in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go. So number one, I ask him to describe what Injil and Torah is according to Quran and Hadith. He didn't describe it. Because if you claim something, you need to prove evidence. Otherwise, you can't just speak empty words and using the Quran without context. We need context. What matters is what? Context. So now, so now, calm down, calm down. So he, the verses, calm down. The verses he used, Quran chapter 5, verse 68. He's reading the first bit of the verse. Allah mentioned in that verse, Torah and Injil and the Quran. No, yes, no, yes, no, I can read the Quran. Allah said, Qul ya ahl al -kitabi. All the people of the book, Lastum ala shay. You, are not up, you are upon nothing Unless you... Torah, until you, you establish Torah. Well, Injil and Injil. All that's Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, the verse I'm reading. Allah it? said, and what is been revealed to you, oh, no, all prophet man? Wait, 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 wait. This verse is talking about all the Torah, Injil, and the Quran. So Christians read only that one. Again, we need context. What's Injil? Injil, it has a description. Chapter 7, verse 157 example. Allah told us, Prophet Muhammad, is yeah, mentioned, written, written, yeah, 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 in the previous books, yeah, which is yeah, Torah yeah. and Injil. In order, in order, Torah and yeah, Injil yeah, to be the current yeah. one, which Christians have now, I want them to show me Prophet Muhammad where it's written in current Torah and Injil, Five, which they claim to. That's the description one, of Torah and Injil according to Quran. One description. Calm down. Round two. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, so guys, all right. he made a mistake.
Okay. We're going to do the three, two, one. Dude, we start so, the time now. All right, he made a slight mistake. Mm -hmm. In 568, it doesn't say anything about the Quran. Mm -hmm. It says all that's, that's been open. revealed. Let's open. It doesn't mention the Quran there. Let's you open. Read, you quoted it in Arabic. No, let's the open. word Quran is not there. Let's but open. I appreciate you affirming that the Quran talks about all of our Bible. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, it's not just, it's not just the Torah. Five, 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 five. It's not just the Torah. <laughs> it's not just the Injil. Okay. But all that's been revealed. That's the Psalms. That's Jeremiah. That's Isaiah. Ezekiel. Malachi. And so on and so forth. So all the Bible. It's, it's Paul. The writings of Paul. The whole New Testament, right? So that's number one. Here's number two, guys. Number two. I love how he admitted that the Quran says the Injil is with us. That's what he said. He said, it's, he said it's with us. Hold on, it's all good. Hold it down. Hold it down. Yeah, we wrote the book. That's right. So, so guys, so it's, it's with us. Hold on, we good. We good. It's with us, right? So he says that Muhammad is written with them in the Torah and the Injil. Now this is his challenge. His challenge is, I want you, if it's talking about what you have, show me where Muhammad is in your gospel that you have today. Actually, it doesn't work like that. Because if he's not in there, then the Quran is false. You got about four seconds there. Because your Quran lied. Your Quran didn't know what was in the gospel. Okay? So what this shows is, is that one, Muhammad didn't know what the Injil was or what was in it, and neither does Siraj because he hasn't answered the question. What is the Injil? When he's talking, you're not shouting, but when I talk, he shouts. So now losers. 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 Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Let me speak. Yeah, his time is done, though. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, you can't drink this milk because it's skimmed British milk. Okay. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me No, no, you're disrupting the talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When your time's ready, we'll Yes, you can speak now. Oh, it's happy. Yes, cut. Stop. Okay. So now, number one, now, he failed to prove. What Injil and Torah is according to Quran? I said Allah described Torah and Injil. Number one, Allah said Torah and Injil, Prophet Muhammad is mentioned there. It's written, not written, written. Yeah, it's written there. It's written. So now, in order, the his gospels to be the Injil, which the one which Allah has approved. We need to find Prophet Muhammad there. If he's not there, then Allah is talking about another Injil, not the one he has it. Yes, because... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. No, no, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, No, no, I have to stop, I have to stop. Pause, 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 pause. I'm time, I'm past time. Pause, pause. Okay. Resuming, now. Okay, number two. Injil, it's not written in Greek language. Chapter Quran, chapter 14, verse, no, you, the one you have it. Injil, I'm refuting yours. Yours, I'm refuting yours. Listen, just listen. The one Allah revealed to Jesus is not written in Greek language. The one they have it now, the original manuscript they said is written in Greek. Quran, chapter 14, verse 4. Allah said we have never sent a messenger unless we sent him with his the, with the people with his own tongue his people's language so in order in jail to be the gospels the one they have it now should be written in the tongue of Jesus and his people and Allah said Jesus was only sent according to Injil was only sent to them people of Israelites chapter Quran chapter 3 verse 49 the one you have it Jesus was sent to Gentiles so we have different Injil in my Injil is not the one you have it simple okay you have seen more time yes okay no okay so now my challenge again the book you are describing we need context come up with the context all right cool round three but logic you heard a question yeah I heard you gotta ask the question all right, let's see what you do. Starting now. Siraj, how do you know what language the angel was written? Mm. I'm going to use my time to let you answer. 
What, what language was it? Are you asking? Yeah, what, what language was it? I'll pause the time so you can ask. His, the his own language. It's not Greek. Okay, no. what, what was it? It's not Greek. What was it? It's Israelite language. What was it? <laughs> the language, Hebrews. Hebrew. What was it? Hebrew. It was Hebrew? Hebrew. Yes. Okay, 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 guys, okay. And Aramaic, according okay. to you. Hebrew and Aramaic? Yes, okay, according okay. to you. Well, of course, okay. No, you said that. I didn't say that. Okay. So, wait, so I just need, because I want to misrepresent you. Okay. So, the language of Jesus was Hebrew and Aramaic? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. I'll pause okay. it. I'll so, yeah, pause it. Yeah. Hold on, guys, guys. Let's yeah, calm down, yeah? Down, We're Christians. You speak two languages, yeah? All right. Yep. <laughs> no, according to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you do speak two languages. I said according to him. Okay. No, 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 you said that no, you said you that's your answer. Languages. From the Hebrew scriptures. You, you said that's your answer. According to him. No, no, don't say according to me. Yeah, 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 so this is why I got to do this again. Okay. So I asked okay. Siraj what language was the Angel written in? In Jesus' he language. He said it was in Jesus' language. Yes. I said, what was that? He said Hebrew and Aramaic. But then now his, his escape is according to you. I didn't, did I say what his language was? Oh. Okay, all right, all right, slow down. So let's let's see his answer again. Okay. What was Jesus' language? Jesus' language was Israelite language. What was? In Hebrew. <laughs> Hebrew? Yes. All right. So now according to you, Aramaic. See, okay, but Hebrew. You gonna give a Hebrew? Yes. All right. Good. So we're going with Hebrew. So Jesus spoke in Hebrew. Mm. Yes. Where in the Quran does it say that? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. I can answer. Shall I answer? Yeah. Okay. Just please okay, first. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Do you want to end your time? You can pause it because I have a, a follow-up question. Simple. Yeah. Okay. So. Same question applies to him. Show me in the Bible where Jesus used to speak Greek language. Show me why in the Bible Jesus used to speak Hebrew. Same question. I'm asking same question. Show me where Jesus spoke Greek in your Bible. I got you. Okay. Let's go. Did anybody hear me say what language Jesus spoke? Nope. No. So, so okay, what's his what? language? According to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's his language? According to you. What's his language? According to you. Answer, answer, answer. Answer. Let's go. Answer. What's his language? Wait, wait. What is Jesus' language? According to Bible. My answer. friend, my friend, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, okay, I'm coming. answer that coming. question. What's his language I'm according coming, to I'm your coming. Bible? I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes. Wait for me, wait for me. Okay, okay we're going to start so, again. Yeah, no, yeah. question, wait for, me, question. wait for me, wait for me. Yeah. So, and it, because he's incapable of answering this question, because mm. his Quran doesn't tell him. Look, this is why this is important. He's trying to tell me what the Injil is not when he can't tell me what the Injil is. You see? Yeah. So he has to say, oh, it was written in Jesus' language. What was that? He can't tell me. Hebrew. Mm. Wait, where does your Quran tell me that? Well, where does your Bible say he spoke this? I never said anything. Mm. So notice Okay, how, what, what wait, was Jesus' language? I'm going to let you go. Now I want you to I'm speak. Gonna, no, answer, answer. Uh -huh. I want him to answer, yeah? What is Jesus' language according to the Bible? Okay, in all due respect, you got about 15 seconds left. Okay, okay. Yeah. So guys. I was able to deal with things he said in the beginning, but now I'm not going to tolerate any more questions on his side. Mm. No, no, you need to answer. Wait, 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 what was Jesus' language? You can't go round and round. So go on from the Bible. Go on. Go on. He's running away now. Hey, 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 hey. Even okay. if, even if, even if. You got about eight seconds left. Okay. You got about eight seconds left. Okay. So we start again. So I asked a few questions, guys. What was my first question? What is the Injil? What was my second question? What language did Jesus speak? Right? And then the third one was, what was the language that the Injil was written? Let's see if in these two minutes, he answers one. At least one. At least one. At least one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't say three, don't say three. No, 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 two minutes, two minutes. My time. My time. Okay, okay. Okay, Christians only always claim the language. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come down, come down. I apologize. Okay. Christians always claim what? Jesus' language is Greek. He asked me a challenge. He said to me, he asked me to show me, he asked me to show me that Jesus, what was the language of Jesus from the Quran, yes? So same thing applies to him. I want him to show me what language Jesus used to speak, what was his mother language, what was his uh, people's language from the Bible. He can't show me. So now we agree, both of us, we agree the language of Jesus, his mother language, his own tongue is not Greek. He cannot prove me wrong. We know the language of Jesus is, is, is Hebrew. We know the language of Jesus is not, is not Greek. We know the people of, of Jesus are not Greek people. So now, in order the Gospels to be 
the ones he have, gospel and the Injil, in order Injil to be the ones he have, now the gospels, not gospel, yeah? I want him to show me what language was Jesus, Jesus used to speak. Now Quran affirms two things. Jesus was sent to the people of Israelites, not to Greek, not to Gentiles. Jesus' language was not Greek because his people were Israelites. Therefore, his mother language, his people's language, definitely 100%, according to Quran, is not Greek. We agree, me and him, I and him now. It's not Greek, the language of Jesus, and Jesus was not sent to Greek people. So, and the Bible and Injil is not for Gentiles. So the description according to Islam of Injil and the description of Gospels is different. So you cannot use Quran to justify your points when the Quran is describing Injil different ways than your Gospels. So what language was Jesus used to speak? I described Injil and I said Injil is not and it's not written in Greek, Two. but I use the Quran. And I said in G, it's for Jesus be people, not Gentiles. I answered. So now, what's my question? What's my question? What's my question? question doesn't matter, bro. Now, what's my question? Can I talk? What language was Jesus? In what book? Show me from the Bible that Jesus used to speak Aramaic. Or hold Greek, on, his on, own on, language, on, mother on. language is Greek or Aramaic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Greek, I want Greek first of all. Which one? Go on. He didn't, he didn't say anything about Yeah, Greek. I'm asking him to answer. But what was the language of Jesus? Is it my turn? But he, he yes, it doesn't he, matter. He, he, he it's like me speaking in Arabic and I write a can book I, in I Chinese. Can I go? So Jesus spoke can in I, Chinese can as well. Can yeah, can it doesn't make sense. <laughs> he's been, hey, he speaks Arabic though. Yeah, 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 Jesus yeah, yeah. spoke Arabic. Arabic. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jesus, language, <laughs> Jesus never knew how to speak Greek. I challenge any Christian to show me from the Bible. What's your native tongue? Any Christian to show me from the Bible that Jesus used to speak Greek. Please answer my question. No, answer my question. You can't just ask me all the time. Answer my question. No, answer my question. No, I'm asking. What well, was the language of Jesus? No, answer, then you can ask me. So you don't have a... No, answer, answer. I, I guess you can answer. Answer, answer. Right, so guys... Right. What was the language of this Jesus? Be, this be it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The language of Jesus. Okay. From the Bible. All right, guys. So, um, I don't... This is what I... This is probably why... He, like, he says he came to my TikTok, and he says that I muted him, and then I kicked him out. Is he This would be why. <laughs> this would be why. Yeah. Because he literally... This brother has not answered a single question. I had three of them, three simple ones. And I'm sorry for saying three, my Muslim friends. But I had three simple questions. What is the NGO? What language was it written in? And what was the language of Jesus? He couldn't answer a single one. So what am I supposed to do here? What, 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 what are we doing here, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. So look, let me let me tell you guys why this is important, all right? Because you look, 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 look. You guys, all of you guys, all of you guys, listen, listen, listen. All of you guys can use this as an argument against any da'i because they will sound as brilliant as Siraj did today. I promise you. All you gotta do, ask them. Don't tell them what the gospel is. Don't give them nothing. Just ask them. What is the NGO? They can't tell you. But listen, I, well, well, what you can do is you can show them that the same reasons why they reject our gospel is the same reason they should reject the Injil in the Quran. Right. Because let me tell you why. They say, we don't know who wrote the gospels. Do you know who wrote the Injil? No. Do you know who wrote it? Do you know what language it was? It, it, was, it was written in Greek, not in Jesus' tongue. Do you know what his tongue was? No. Do you know what the language of the Injil was written in? No. Looks like we're in the same boat. That's That's it. It. Exactly. Looks like my anonymous, looks like my anonymous, non-native Hebrew Aramaic gospel is the same Injil he's talking about. Well, it's no difference. Thanks for coming, man. Okay, let me speak. So now, no, 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 wait, 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 So that's a sign of losers. Sign of losers. So now, so now, so time for me. So now, listen, listen. God logic, he cannot describe in Jil according to Quran and Hadith number one. He said to me, what language was Jesus used to speak? I give him, I prove to him that the language of Jesus is not Greek from the Quran. And Jesus was sent to, 
to only to his people. So now he cannot describe the Injil according to Quran and Hadith by his claiming and making false claims by using the Quran. So now, let me come to the point. So tell me any eyewitness who saw the disciples when they were writing the Gospels. What the question was, what's yeah. the Jew? So now, what I'm asking, what was the language of Jesus? He did not answer. I described in Jew according to Quran, and I said the language of Jesus is not Greek. So now, so now, 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 come, come. Come, come here. No, no, you failed to describe in Jew according to Quran. How can you use the Quran when you cannot describe in Jew? So how can you describe in Jew? I can't. Can you describe Injil according to Quran? I can't. Can you? I can't. No, can you? I can't. No, can you? No. Hey! So he's using Injil where he cannot even describe Injil according to Quran. Imagine, look, as the Quran says, Jesus said all Christians will go to hell. Quran chapter 5, verse 71 to 72. David, do Questions answered. Zero. See? He can't even describe. He didn't answer even a simple question. What language was Jesus from the Bible? He couldn't answer. Jesus was God, so he could speak any language. No, no. Understand. Jesus didn't speak any language. So, oh, no, 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 no. They don't want to listen. No, they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. Don't want to listen. No, I'm, want to listen. I'm listening. So we have different Injil now. Injil and Gospels are two different. David Wood, about Trinity, me and you. Uh, I got some Trinity, Trinity, Anthony Rogers here. Trinity. Yeah, Rogers. Trinity. No, no, me. Trinity, Trinity, Trinity. David Wood, I want to challenge Trinity. No, I'm not interested. No, 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 no. What? I just answered. He didn't even answer. He can't even describe in Jesus according to Quran. Bro, you didn't even answer a question. Look. He you cannot question describe, question, no, he what cannot describe where Injil is according to Quran and here you want to use Injil to justify the Gospels. Come on man, you need to describe the book according to Quran and Hadith. Then you can use the Injil, the Gospels.